Daniela, my name is Melatai. So Daniela, let me ask you a question. Life is is big, right? So what do you look forward to in life? What are the, some of the things that you look forward to in life? So what, are the what are some of the things that you look forward to in life? God's blessings. God's blessings. So you want God's blessings, right? right? So how do you want God to bless you? He already is. He's blessing you in what way? With life, with, um, with work opportunities. Okay. To be able to be. He's opening doors. He's such a gentleman. Okay, God is opening doors. Okay, so let me let me show you this. The blessing that you are supposed to be seeking is this. Give me Romans chapter six, verse twenty-three. I want to show you this. This is the blessing that you are supposed to see. Eventually, we all going to die, right? But let me show you this. Read. The book of Romans chapter six, verse twenty-three. Uh huh. For the wages of sin is death. Uh huh. But the gift of God. Wait, the blessings of God. Uh huh. Is eternal life. It's eternal life. Right now you have a job. Everybody get a job. Right? Right? But does everybody have eternal life? Alright. So now, what are the things that you supposed to do to get eternal life? But, very good. Now let me give you a commandment that you supposed to follow. Give me that. Do the 22 verse 5. Daniela, we want you to get eternal life. The things that you have, like you have a job, you may have a nice car, you have a place. Even the, the drug dealer have that. So there's not, nothing blessed with when it comes to that. You see what I'm saying, right? Everybody can get that. Right. Whether it's good or bad, everybody can get that. Right. That's no, it's normal. It's part of life. Read. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall uh -huh. not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so, or abomination unto the Lord thy God. So what does it mean? Read, read that slow for um, Daniela. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither. Stop. What does it mean? Oh, a woman should wear sexual revealing clothes. Like what? Lounge away and pray. No. What do you mean like what? Pants. Pants? Leggings. Because leggings and pants reveals your body. So just wear a skirt? Yes, yeah, long skirts and long dresses. Why? Why? Why are you supposed to do that? Why? I'm just learning why now. Very to protect good. Your, so your that body. you don't reveal your body. Because your body belongs to who? God. And you no, know, your body belongs to your man, your husband. Right. Because when your husband, after the wedding, when your husband take off the, the, the gown, is it? The, 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 what do you remember? The no, no, the one they wear the the wedding dress. They're gone, right? The yeah. wedding, okay. the wedding clothes. Wedding when they dress. take it off and see your body, it's to be like, damn, I like this because it belongs to them because nobody saw your your your, your body. Yeah. So why did you have to call Dash out? Maybe he wasn't thinking. That. Listen, I know Dash mine. <laughs> I know Dash mine. I, look, listen, I'm not, I'm a man, I right? No, I'm, I'm not his type. Who, who told you that? <laughs> Give me that. Uh, every every bird is sweet for a homonger. Sirak, uh, Sirak. Um, yep. No, but. 23. Let me show you this, sis. Do that. The Rock 2319. I, I used to be like that. I mean, I didn't have not, I did not have gold teeth, but I used to be like him. Read. <laughs> the book of Sirach, chapter 23, verse 19. Uh huh. Yeah. Such a man only. 17. Verse 17. Uh huh. All bread is sweet to a hormone. It said bread is talking about, it's, it's, it's uh, 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 similar to your analogy. Bread represents the woman. A whole manga doesn't care if you, a woman has two teeth or three teeth. They will sleep with a woman. Right. So never say that you are not a man's type. That's true, that's true. Men will just want to sleep with you and they'll be good. Right. So that, that's why I was dealing with Dad the way I was dealing with him. But he was engaged with you. And then he wasn't. He was looking at me, but his mind was not with me. That's why when I started talking about, he, he was trying to look at you, sleep with you, he walked away. Because he knows that I can read his mind because I used to be like him. Now, the pants, right? Coming back to the pants. Because your body belongs to who? Your husband. When I get married. When you get married. So you should not be doing boyfriend and boyfriend. You should not have a boyfriend now. Your feels like you have a boyfriend. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I'm waiting. So that you're married. waiting. Very good. So you should not have a boyfriend until you're married. Why? Yeah, but you can't get married unless you have that person. That's right? not true. Let, let me show you that. Those women that sleep with a man, 
in the Bible without Mary, this is what happens to them. Give me um, Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 13. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Read. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 13. Uh huh. If any man take a wife. If any man take a wife. Right now, so let's say a man approach you, they want to marry you. Uh huh. And go in unto her. Uh huh. And hate her. Why? Why? Why would? You, why would the man hate the wife? No. What? Yeah. Read. No. Read that again. If any man take a wife. If a man take you to be their wife. Uh huh. And go in unto her. Uh huh. They sleep with you. Uh huh. And hate her. And they now they hate you after they have sex with you. Why? Because they just marry you, but now they despise you. Why? After having sex, because your vagina is wide open, and you are sleeping a lot of a lot of men. So your vagina is not like tight like a virgin. So this man gonna be like, hell no, I'm not gonna be with her. I cannot even fit in. You will not even get pleasure because that thing is too small for you and you're just too big because you're sleeping with another man. You see that? So the mindset of, oh, I have to sleep with this man before I marry, that's, that's American garbage. That's not, you know what Bible It is, says, that's, that's, that's what the Bible says. No, no, I'm, I'm just talking, that's what you said and that's what I'm trying to show you. You should wait so that your thing can close and be tight. I did. I'm 35 and uh -huh. I'm still a virgin. You saw, you saw, you, I'm you saw a virgin. Yes. Okay, but for you to get a wife, right? I mean, for you to get a husband, mm -hmm. this right. is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be keeping God's laws. Number one, change the way you dress. Right? That's what you have to start doing. Change the way you dress. Start wearing dresses. No. Then the right men will approach you to grow old with you. For example, you got that? Let me show you. The way that our sisters dress today, right? We are here to help our sisters to be the greatest woman on this planet, to be a godly woman. But uh, that also comes with number one. When I meet you, I'm supposed to tell who you are, just looking at you, right? For example, if I'm a doctor and I have a, a white coat, you're not going to ask me if I'm a, uh, I'm a, uh, uh, I sell, I sell um, hot dogs. You're going to be like, oh yeah, this brother is a doctor because of his outward appearance. So now. We want you to have the godly man, so we want we have to make sure that you change your outward appearance. Let me show you something. You got it? But you know what? A lot of men don't get that godly woman and still cheat on her. No, no, they are not godly. A man that's it that they have a godly woman and they consider themselves a godly man and cheat their their, uh, their woman is not godly. Give me Sirach 20, 26, 20, uh, 23. You got it? But let me show you this. I want to show you this. Right now, remember, we're trying to help you so that you can change and be a godly woman, right? And number one, I don't know what you're thinking until I have to having a conversation with you. But I can see your outward appearance. Let me show you this. Give me, hold that. Give me, hold that. Give me Proverbs chapter 3 verse 31. I want to show you something. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 31. Because, listen sis, I'm being honest. Of all the planet and everywhere I have known, when it comes to beauty, only the black Hispanic women are the most beautiful women on this planet. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 31. Uh-huh. Envy them not the oppressor. Because God said that he made you perfect. What do I mean by perfect? You have a nice body. All the nations, only the black Hispanic people have nice bodies. And that's why Musa doesn't want you to reveal your body by wearing pants and wearing leggings. Because he made you perfect. Read. And choose none of his ways. God is saying that you should not choose the ways of the nations. Because he made you perfect. The other nation, there's not anything perfect about them. So why are you going to choose how they dress? Let me show you something. Read. The definition of cumbrellas. You know what cumbrellas is? A what? Cumbrellas. Let me show you this. Uh, let me show you a picture. Come closer. This is cumbrella. What's that? Oh, okay, okay. That's the eyelashes, eyelashes, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what you have on. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have eyelashes, but what you have on represents something. Let me show you. I already know that. In What's it? that? It's something. So why you have it on? You, that's you, what I like you go around to do. I don't like to do that with my hair. When, I don't have my hair right now. But you don't have. But when you marry, that, yeah, that's something that you have to do in the bedroom. But right now, you 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 having that on. I, I, I'm thinking, yo, this sister is going around sucking all men, um, men's dick. No. But that's what you're showing. That's why the Bible said that you should not envy your presence and choose your way, sis. There's nothing wrong wearing this in the bedroom for your husband. Not the bedroom, but you put glue on it. You no, no, I'm saying like this. When you, but you can take it off, though. But I'm not gonna wear it just for the bedroom. It's a Sis, look. you have to, because you don't have, you don't want everybody to have a better perception about you. 
How would I know this is what this is means? And you'd be like, yo, this, I know this already. Because we men, we know what's going on. How you dressing today is not how God created you. God said that he made you perfect. With beautiful eyelashes, with beautiful body. Why you want to change those for how the other nations are for you? Because my last relationship made me feel like he sexually assaulted me, he abused me. Okay, so let's start. Listen. And I still want to be with him. Give me a, a Sarai 23, uh, 26 verse 3. It says, let me show you that why are you going through this? But this I love natural. him, but he loves Say, that's not love. That's lust. That's lust. That's garbage. That's right. not love. Read. A, a man that love your wife, they're going to marry them before they sleep with them. Right. Read. Sarai chapter 26 and verse 3. Uh-huh. A good wife. Uh, 26 verse tw uh, 23. Verse 23. Uh -huh. A wicked woman. It says, what's a wicked woman? A wicked woman is someone that's not keeping God's law. A, a wicked woman is someone that's not trying to what do what God is saying. Right now, you are wicked because you have not been doing what God is saying. It says, a wicked woman will what? A wicked woman is given as a portion. It's, a, a wicked woman is what? Given as a portion. A wicked woman is given as a portion to who? To a wicked man. To who? A wicked man. To who? A wicked man. That man that you have was not righteous. Sis. No, he wasn't. And you, why? Because you also are wicked. So if you want a righteous man, how are you supposed to behave, sis? God. You have to be godly. And how? Follow the commandments. Follow the commandments. So the first thing that you have to do is, you have to change your appearance. Give me the scripture that says, a man may be known by his looks. 2919, right? 20, yeah, give me that. Let me show you this. 1920. The first thing that says you have to do is change your appearance. Because if you don't change your appearance, the first thing that men look at, when they see you, they already have a perception about you. But Just you looking know, at you. This is the same thing like when I was going through this relationship for three years and they told me, why don't you pray? Why don't you? And Because I couldn't get away. And they said, you cannot win against the same demons that you enjoy playing with. Yeah, but you, that's why you have to fix it. Because how you started, you started wrong, at the wrong foot. You did not start the process of being with this man by how the Bible is saying. Now let me read, show you this. Read. So Rock chapter 19 verse 29. Uh -huh. A man may be known by his look. A man or a woman may be known by how they look. Uh-huh. And and one that have understanding by his continence. You know when a man have understanding or a woman have understanding by how they dress. If you have a garment on, you have a skirt on, not showing your body, I would know, I would know that this is to have some sort of an, an understanding of who he, or who she is. But how you dressing shows me that you don't have any understanding. I have understanding. No, you don't, sis. You you saying that you have understanding? You tell me that a man abuse you and you feel depressed, you want to kill yourself and you still love him, sis. That's not understanding. Because he turned me out. I feel like nobody can. Say no, sis, not because... I know I'm confused in the mind. You know why you're confused in the mind? Number one. Okay. How you started the process? You started the process wrong. I don't want to be with nobody you else. You started the process being as you want to sleep with men. You did I not know, start I the not process start. Like looking for a righteous man. I didn't. Man. I didn't want to sleep with yeah, men. I didn't want to sleep with him. Okay, let me ask you a question, sis. That's what I'm saying. How many men have you been? I've been like... Ten. You said that you are dealing with ten men and you are spending a, a, a good relationship, sis? When a man sleep with you, sis, your sperm and your spirit go into you. You receive that. So right now, the reason why you are not being, you, your mind is not so, but you have 10 spirit of men in you. Right now, you are bugged out in the head, sis. And for you to fix that, you no matter what, you have to start fixing your, your mind first and change your ways. But you can start little by little. And the little thing that you can do is change the how you dress, take off the cumbrella and start fixing your mind, sis. Find out if all... Two congregations coming at once. You know, if not, right? sis, you're going to be you going to have wicked men after wicked men after wicked men. And they're going to abuse you and go to end up doing yourself, sis. Right. Give me Sirach 6 and 7. Give me Sirach 6 and 7, yeah. sis. As I said, the, the process, you started, gonna, the whole, you started everything the wrong. People, um, I'm not gonna miss you. you started everything wrong, sis. Listen, I started everything wrong. And the woman I dealt with, listen, I'm like, nah, sis, this is not a righteous woman. I have to separate myself away, I fix myself, and, and get the right, the righteous woman. Read. Surat chapter six and verse seven. Uh huh. 
If that what is get a friend? Now, sis, you want to marry? You have a, you have to see the brother as your friend. You have to do what? Get a friend. Uh huh. Prove him first, sis. The Bible says that you have to take your time. Let your mind talk for you. Let God work. God words talk for you. It says you have to prove them. So when it says that you have to prove the brother, you know what you yeah. what the proving yeah. stages is? Number one, okay, this brother approach you, don't they like you. Number one, okay, I'm this brother gonna, doesn't fear that, God. Because if a man fear God, they're going to love you. Because the Bible said that the man should love your wife. If this man want to be with you and he fear God, this is what he's going to say. He's going to say, Daniela, listen, I like you. I want to get to know you, no sex. Let me see if you are the right woman for me. And you being Daniela, you're going to say, listen, brother. Yes, I agree. The Bible even said that. I have to prove you. I have to get to know you. So let's get to know each other. According to what? According to God's laws. For example, now you have an argument with this. Let's say you go out to eat with this brother. And you have an argument. And the brother start getting upset and started throwing everything all over the place. I ain't going to be with that brother. Hell no! You're going to be like, nah, this brother doesn't have a temper. Because if we get married and I, we have an argument, he can chop with his fist. He can punch me in the face or kill me. So then you know now, this, this is not the right brother for me, so let me move myself away from him. So guess what? You did not open your legs for this brother, so there's no spirit in you. Now your mind is cleared for, to, get to, know, to, to, get, to get to know another brother. Now you get to know this brother, the same, same spirit, you move yourself away from them. You have no spirit, now your mind is clear. The right brother came along. Everything is good. The, 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 the brother fear God. He keep God's laws. You keep God's laws. Guess what? You get, you get him upset. He doesn't, he doesn't throw time drums. He doesn't throw things away. He doesn't lay his hands upon you. He knows how to control his temper. Now you be like, yes, that's the right man according to God that I'm supposed to marry. You see that? So the process that you stand about, you started wrong. You did not put this brother. Number one, you don't even keep God's laws and you are spending to get a righteous man. Hell no. God is saying, hell no. So you, number one, the process that you started was strong. So if you want a godly man, the first thing, number one, you're supposed to do is what? Get yourself right according to God. I don't want to be... Why, why the first song I called for y'all like, because, you know, I felt like I was going to be bored if I meet with a godly man. You, are, you see, that's the problem. Let me tell you this. A godly man is the most fun, fun man on this planet. Now, you know why? Let me show you this. I'm married, right? I'm married. Do you know why I'm, I'm married to a godly woman? Right? You know what makes it fun? Guess what? When I'm tired, I play a day. Listen. Man, I was thinking about you all day. I work. I couldn't even do my work. I couldn't even do my work. Get ready, I'm coming home. What that means to her? Yo, I'm, yeah, we are about to turn it on. Everything I want to do, we do in the bedroom. That shows that God's man is fun. But guess what? With you, man, you know what he's going to do? Even though you are his wife. Yo, side chick. Yo, what's up, man, man? You know, this and that. And guess what? You be home all day and he is with another woman. A godly man is fun to be with, sis. You missing out, sis. But I got addicted to this toxic sex. Toxic sex. No, see, that, that's, a, that's a demonic spirit that's it on is. you. It's a demonic spirit, sis. Yeah. You have to change that mindset. What? And you can only change that mindset by fixing yourself with God's law. Sis, follow the kids. first thing that you have to do, change how you dress. Like, um... Right? Like the two Take off the converse, see change that, um, that it. Start reading the Bible. You have to come and come here with us and start changing your mind. But that's what I'm saying. Like, when I got with him, I didn't, he sexually abused me. And then he forced me to do it. Then I started to like it. That's true. That's why I feel confused in the mind. Do you know about any... Somebody who hurt me. No, I'm serious. Do you know anything about Stockholm Syndrome? You know anything about Stockholm Syndrome? It's like a man who kidnap you. It's like what the white man did us today. He enslaved us, right? Oppress us and still oppressing us. Now we like it. Oh, we, 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 we say, oh, the white man is good. But wait, the white man rip our brothers and sisters, put them to slavery and we still love him today. Why? Because that's taco syndrome. And that's what you're going through now. And that's a demonic spirit. That's a police says. All right? Says, you have to change your mindset. Change how you dress in first. If you leave this congregation, you want to be with a godly man that's going to pick you up okay, and throw you good. hit you on the back in a righteous way listen start keeping god's laws and you're going to find the right man all right, all right. but if not you want to find a wicked man that's going to abuse you because listen god will not bring the righteous man in your life with that mindset because you're going to destroy that righteous man so god is saying hell no i'm not going to bring the righteous man in your way why you say i'm not destroying him 
toxic. Why? Because your man would be how the other niggas were. Oh, yeah, I'm toxic. Yeah, you toxic. Right now, you says you want you want you want the righteous man to punch you. You'd be like, yo, husband, punch me. I like that. No, but you know what? I hit him first. No, because you like that, sis. A righteous, a, a righteous man, a righteous man, a righteous man is not going to lay hands upon your wives. Yeah, I need to get rid of the spirits in me, the demons. That's a demonic spirit. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. So now you have to repent, change your ways by keeping yeah. God's laws. No, you have not, sis. No, you have none. Looking at you right now, it shows that you have none. And you have to stop now, sis. You don't want to grow old with a, a godly man that's going to come to you. Turn you upside down, flip you, put you ahead upside down, and still doing in the air. You don't want that. Yeah, that's not. That's and still, we'll be still we will be the man to come to you every night. Have have children with you and grow old. You don't want that. And you gonna have grandchildren come to your funeral. You are going to have all grandchildren come to you when you're old. But how do you know? Never mind. I'm not gonna infiltrate your mind. How would you know why? How you know your your wife is not thinking about? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How would I know? Because the her way shows. Take that sign that way he shows you know? When we have a conversation, I'm going to say, oh, my ex is what, 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 no. Because no, she has no renewed her mind. Yeah. No, Those spirits no, just no. leave her. So now, I'm the spirit that's in her mind. You see what I'm saying, right, sis? So no more, you have to change your ways. How you dress, change your ways. A, 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 um, Even though what do you say? A nigga. I'm using the word nigga for example. A nigga is made in America. A nigga one just wants to sleep with a black woman, have babies, and leave them and punch them like how you want it. But, you guys but a godly man will not look at you how I'm you dress. Here, I'm not here to make y'all look bad. I'm not here to Cause I, uh, cause because I'm even me standing here looking at you, I can tell now this is sure that there's a lot of things going on. So do you think a righteous man will look 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 at your way to be with you? Hell no, says. So that's why you have not been able to find a godly, a godly man. Because you are wicked. You are not keeping God's laws. You have to change your ways. I didn't say I wasn't able to, but maybe I didn't want that. The instruction is you don't want to. A godly man. I could find a godly man. No, say, how can you find a godly man? I go to church. I find a godly man. Church, church, church has destroyed our brothers and sisters. If you want to commit adultery or sleep with another woman, you go to church. That's not why I was there. But sis, there's nothing in church. There's nothing. What what have so you accomplished so going to church? Nothing. Like yeah, understanding so, the word so, God. So that everybody everybody has God. But you have not been doing that though. So everybody because everybody in church they, they don't teach you guys laws. I did, but you know. Did they teach you that you should not wear pants? Uh, no. They don't teach that in churches. All the teachers come and pay your tithe and you get prosperity. Right, and get it's a, a business. It's yeah, a you know, business. They're making time. money. Last so you like, have not been keeping God's laws. You have to start now. Start keeping God's laws. Like, I was, but it's a lonely journey. Because since I was a kid, I grew up, and then I went to school and church. That was my life. I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness. I said, "Yo, man, I and despise I didn't have any that." Friends. Say it again. I didn't have any friends when I went to school, no, work, and church. But that's that's, that's not you being a, a, a godly woman, though. No, I'm telling you, I was, and I was lonely. No, because I said, this is a godly woman is not lonely. Says. That's why I'm telling you, you miss Christianity way of letting you think that what is a godly woman is not what the Bible is saying, it says. Uh, do you know about Judith? When you get a chance, I want you to get this book. It's part of the Bible, right? It's called Apocrypha. Read about Judith. She was the most beautiful woman and every, every man wanted to be with her. Why? Because of her ways please God. And every man wants to be with a righteous woman. Susanna. Sarah says we have righteous women in this Bible and we have righteous women today that when you I am righteous says you're not righteous. I just want give to give me righteous. Guy that took, uh, want sex. So I want to give me that. Says you are not righteous. Not righteous. Let me show you what makes you righteous. You are not righteous. Read. The, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 25. Oh, look at my man. Did you buy? Did you buy? Oh yeah. Damn man. Hey man, this is what it is. Read. Verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness uh -huh. if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God. Says you are not doing the commandments, so you are not righteous. You are not righteous, says. If you want a godly man, change the way you dress. Clear your mind. Put put men, put men at the back of your. Uh, how do I say? It? The back of your mind. Put them. Don't even put them in your mind. Put men in the gutter right now and clear yourself. 
play yourself because the righteous man that Mosai has set for you to be with, listen, she, he's waiting. Mosai put him away from you so that he can wait, so that you can get time to fix yourself. But right now, says you're not fixing yourself, and guess what? You're going to go with these men, they're going to abuse you and punch you. And next thing you know, they're not going to punch you. They're going to stab you and you think it's fun. And you'll be bleeding and you still think it's fun. Sis, you have to change how you dress. That's not good, sis. Look at, look, look at that, sis. Now, with all this mindset, you think a godly man want to be with you with all this? With that? You think a godly man want to be with you with that mindset? No, sis. You have to fix yourself. Fix yourself, sis. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 